sad news today. I've just been made aware that D. Robbins has uh, put out a statement that Fun 2 is coming to an end and is not looking for someone that new to take over the project. Never like to see a distribution go, um, but let me read out his statement. Put a quick shout out to GK Sudo, my Pegasus Theater member, Ooh. and all my other Patreon members that help keep this channel going. Without you guys, I couldn't do it. All good things must come to an end. I've decided to end the Fun2 Linux project. Fun2 started as a philosophy to create a fun community of contributors building something great together. For me, it's no longer that. It's no longer that. So I need to move on to other things. There is not a successor to BDFL, the Fun2. Fun nor am I interested in trying to find one or hand the project off to someone else. You can expect the project to wind down through August. If you have a Fun2 container, it will continue to be online through the rest of August, so you have time to find another hosting solution if you need one. So it looks like either someone's going to fork Fun2, Fun3, I guess. Oops. <laughs> That's made me chuckle. Um, so what I thought I'd do is, because I can't really add anything about Fun2, it's never really been something um, I know I respect it and Daniel Robbins quite a lot, but yeah, the distribution wasn't for me, Genity was a better fit. So I thought there's going to be a influx of users that are probably going to start looking at Gen2. And I thought, well, what's, what's some issues they're going to have? Um, the main one probably is Fun2 has a different way of doing profiles to Gen2, so you can actually do profile mixes. So, I'll show you on the screen. Basically, you have your main architecture as the uh, top of the profile, and then the build, so current, stable, experimental, um, and then a sub-arch, which is basically optimizations, then flavor, so server or desktop, and then mixings, which is like, you know, GNOME and things like that. Gnome X, audio, DVD, so you can set like that. When you come over to Gen 2, you would... Let's say you've got a Gnome set up, you would pick a, um, a default Linux, AMD64, and then desktop Gnome. And that would be the same as what you had with your mixings. You can also create your own profiles as well, and um, I'd probably say just get used to it a little bit before when you do that, but you're, you've got the same power, it's just done a different way. I don't actually think it's fun to have a, a nicer system, but the Gen 2 way works, and I think it works better for us, if you know what I mean. Another difference is how to change between stable and testing systems. So in fun to you do it in your profile on the build line. In Gen 2 we set and accept keywords. Um, so if I want a stable system I'll just have accept underscore keywords equals AMD64 and if I wanted a testing version for an experimental to help contribute I'll do accept underscore keywords equals title AMD64 and then I'll be getting all the newer packages. That's another difference as well. Um, for optimizations, we do that just with common flags. I mean, to be honest, all you need to do is put in um, hyphen march equals native. And, uh, yeah, you're golden. You're getting all the optimization for your CPU. The biggest issue, I believe, would probably be the people that absolutely hate system D. Now, I personally don't have an issue with system D. It's a very good tool, but some people do. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can't completely remove System D, but we're just relying on a couple of things. So, some packages need E login D for X stuff. So, but if you're using a window manager or Mate or something like that, you won't need to bubble with it. Um, but we do use um, UDEV, System D UDEV. So, that would be the only place you need to do it. Now, I don't believe anything wrong with that myself and a lot of distributions say their system d3 do include that and that's a choice you need to make but otherwise you can other than that one though you can use as much or as little system d as you like 
But yeah, no, I, um, I hope to see some new fun new people come over. And again, I'm really sorry for your loss, and I wish Daniel and Robbins all the best. Another question, probably fun to you, that I'm going to ask is, can I convert my fun two system to a Gen two system? I'm going to say you probably can do it, but I don't recommend it. I'd recommend taking it back up of your personal files and just reinstalling. It's going to be so much simpler. But hey, if you want to do it, you go for it. But just make your life easier and start from scratch. Anyway, guys, keep the garden.